did you know that more people die of heart attack on Christmas Day than any other day? Followed closely by December 26th and January the 1st. What happens on those days? For many, they're characterized by overeating, alcohol, and emotion, exerting enormous stress on the heart. Zooming out, statistics show, in the two hours after eating certain types of meals, heart attack risk increases fourfold. It's vital to understand what foods cause short and long-term damage. So today, we're going to look at seven of the worst meals that trigger heart attacks, including some that we've been told are good for us, and some that may be lurking in your kitchen right now. Stick around until the end because we've got two free gifts that will help you fight heart disease naturally. And remember to click the thumbs up and subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. Our first food is one that many people eat every day. And a clear example of the dangers can be seen with the famous 1970s running guru, Jim Fix. Fix was known to run up to 80 miles a week. That's over three marathons every week. On the outside, Jim was the champion of champions. But inside, it was a different story. At just 52 years old, Jim died of a heart attack with his autopsy showing he had blocked arteries, despite all the running. And what was Jim's favorite meal? That's right, the so-called breakfast of champions, cereal. While cereal isn't one of the foods likely to trigger an immediate heart attack, it's a slow burning danger. That's because cereal eaters tend to consume it most days, gradually damaging arteries until the point they become blocked. Many cereals, although marketed as wholesome, are full of refined carbohydrates. When you eat them, they're quickly digested, rapidly spiking blood sugar levels. One of the main issues here is glycation. Glycation is a chemical reaction that occurs when excess glucose in the bloodstream binds to proteins or fats, forming harmful compounds known as advanced glycation end products, or AGEs. These AGEs cause oxidative stress and inflammation, wreaking havoc on the delicate lining of our arteries, in turn triggering plaque buildup and the hardening of our arteries, a disease known as atherosclerosis. Ultimately, this narrows the arteries and restricts blood flow to the heart, significantly elevating the risk of heart attack and stroke. To make matters worse, many cereals contain added sugar especially those targeted at children. The combination of refined grains and sugar is a double threat that not only spikes blood sugar, but also fuels our brains craving for more. This addictive cycle leaves us reaching for cereal boxes, unaware of the harm they may be causing to our heart. Next, canned soup is often considered a convenient comfort food, but it comes with hidden risks. The most commonly discussed problem is the extremely high levels of salt found in many soups. But there's an even greater threat. A fascinating 2012 study by the Harvard School of Public Health compared to the effects of eating homemade soup versus canned soup. In the study, 75 volunteers ate either fresh or canned soup for five days. Then their urine was tested. The results were staggering, finding that the canned group had more than 1,000% increase in urinary bisphenol A, or BPA, compared to those who ate homemade soup. The implications of this are very concerning. BPA is not just any chemical, it's a known endocrine disruptor, which means it potentially leads to hormone imbalances. Studies show that high levels of BPA can affect blood pressure and heart rate, and may also be linked to coronary artery heart disease, angina, and heart attack. And while BPA is the major concern, don't forget that when you eat canned soup, you're also getting a bunch of other potentially harmful ingredients, like preservatives, flavor enhancers, thickeners, acid regulators, and anti-foaming agents. So do your heart a favor and make your own soup from scratch. Save extra portions in the freezer 
and avoid canned soups altogether. Next up, we have creamy pasta dishes. Carbohydrate heavy, but nutrient poor, with a few extra dangers depending on how you make them. Pasta is made from refined grains, which is going to cause the same artery damage as your breakfast cereal, leading to insulin resistance and inflammation, both associated with heart disease. Many pasta sources are extremely high in sodium, which can elevate blood pressure, as well as generic blends of vegetable oils, like soybean, canola, and corn oils. These oils are unstable and prone to oxidation, damaging blood cells and triggering serious inflammation. In fact, certain popular oils are some of the worst foods that people consume today, and play a significant role in the growing heart disease epidemic. You might like to watch our videos on oils to understand more about which oils damage your cardiovascular system, and which may help to repair it. We'll leave a link to that video in the description. At number 4, we have a Friday night favourite, pizza. Due to its bread base and low quality ingredients, pizza is a disaster for your heart. First, you've got the crust, made from refined white flour, which, as we discussed, is going to spike blood sugar, cause glycation, and damage arteries. Processed meat toppings are another major concern. University of Oxford research indicates that daily consumption of 50 grams of processed meat can raise coronary heart disease risk by a whopping 18%. Additionally, a higher intake of processed meat correlates with an increased risk of colorectal cancer. Cheap ingredients and artificial chemicals further exacerbate the problem. Frozen or takeaway pizzas are particularly bad. They often contain low-cost cheeses and sauces, trans fats, and preservatives to extend shelf life. These exacerbate inflammation and oxidative stress, further contributing to artery damage. Now, swearing off pizza forever can be a bit much for many people, but don't panic, not all pizzas are created equal. If you're going to eat pizza, make it at home. Opt for thin crust with a homemade tomato sauce, quality cheese, and vegetable toppings. You might even like to try making your own cauliflower pizza base for an ultra-low-carb option. For more on that, check our video on the 8 best bread alternatives for heart health. You can find a link to that video in the description. Before we get to the worst 3, Heart Disease Code would love to give you a free book, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol, plus the first episode of the untold story of heart disease something that everyone concerned about heart health should watch. Click the link in the description below to claim these free gifts. And could you do us a favor and click the subscribe button below? Okay, let's get back to the video. Next, we have the quintessential combo, fast food burgers and fries. While a greasy cheeseburger might taste delicious, it's a ticking time bomb for your heart. Burgers from fast food joints are generally made with low quality meat and cooked in reused cooking oils. These oils form extremely harmful compounds that lead to increased oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. This process accelerates the hardening and narrowing of the arteries, which restricts blood flow and increases heart attack risk. Add a side of fries in there and matters get worse. French fries, high in starch, Form acrylamide when fried at high temperatures, a potential carcinogen linked to increased cancer risk. And of course, both your burger bun and fries are simple carbohydrates, which are going to rapidly shoot up your blood sugar and trigger glycation. Finally, what goes on top of fries? That's right, the ketchup, mayo, and mustard introduce additional hazards. Loaded with sugar or high fructose corn syrup, they exacerbate blood glucose spikes, and the chemical preservatives, flavors, and artificial colors are going to provoke even more inflammation. Just like your pizza, if you're determined to eat burgers, it's best to make them at home, using high quality ingredients, plenty of fresh vegetables, and oven baked sweet potato fries. At number two, we have a potentially worst fast food, Chinese takeaways. A 2018 report by Queen Mary University of London shed light on the astonishing levels of salt in these meals. 
For instance, a single serving of beef in black bean sauce with vegetable noodles contained a staggering 11 grams of salt. That's equivalent to the salt content of 5 fast food burgers, and approaches acute toxic levels of salt intake. According to the American Heart Association, within just 30 minutes of consuming excess salt, the ability of blood vessels to dilate is impaired, skyrocketing blood pressure, and potentially leading to heart attacks, strokes, and other problems. Moreover, the portion sizes of these meals are much larger than recommended. The combination of excessive salt and healthy fats, refined carbohydrates, and large portion sizes make Chinese takeaways a concern for anyone being mindful of their heart. And the number one worst meal to trigger heart attacks is sugary desserts. Studies consistently show that added sugars, unlike natural sugars found in fruits, pose significant health risks. Fruits, in contrast, contain fiber, vitamins, and antioxidants, which mitigate the negative effects of sugar. As we discussed, a primary concern is glycation, but added sugar goes far beyond that. Pivotal research was published in the Journal of American Medical Association in 2014. The 15-year study found that individuals consuming 17 to 21% of their calories from added sugar had a 38% higher risk of dying from cardiovascular disease, compared to those limiting added sugar to 8% of their calories. Researchers unequivocally concluded that the higher your intake of added sugar, the higher your heart attack risk. Excess sugar burdens the liver in a similar way to alcohol. This can lead to fatty liver disease, a precursor to diabetes. Moreover, excessive sugar intake can elevate blood pressure and trigger chronic inflammation, all of which collectively heighten the risk for heart attacks and strokes. So rethink those high sugar ice creams, cookies and cakes, and go for fruit or low sugar options instead. We hope you found this video useful. Click the like and subscribe buttons to see more on these topics.